Hello techies, welcome to GitHub Tutorials. In this session, we will learn how to clone a repository. In the previous session, we learned how to create a GitHub repository. And also, we learned how to push the data and how to communicate you know, with the GitHub by using git bash commands. Let me remind you once again, if you see on my screen, I'm having the git bash commands or git commands. Git init will initialize the uh, git. And also, if you want to add any files, then we'll use git add for the local repository. If you want to commit the files, you are going to use git commit hyphen m. And you can give what are the comments that you have. You can give it comments over there. And if you want to connect to the GitHub repository, then you are going to use git remote add origin. And you are going to give the URL. And if you want to push the code or push the files to the master branch, then you are going to use git push hyphen u origin master branch. In this session, we will learn how to clone a repository using git bash. So there we are having only you know, single command over there. If you see on my screen that we are having git clone and we are giving the URL that is https github.com slash username slash repository name, which one you have to clone by using git bash. First of all, we will try to understand why we require cloning. For instance, suppose in our team, we are having five people and you know, we have created our repository. But let us assume there is one more team member has been added in our project. At that time, what you will do, you need to clone the entire repository which we have pushed by the teams of five, right? So how can we go ahead and we can do that? By using cloning. Clone or in, for the new team member, we're going to clone the entire repository by using this command. Let me switch to github.com. If you see on my screen that I'm having repositories on my left hand side. So if you're not getting that, there is another way to get it. If you see on my screen, so let me click on my profile and then you can see your repositories. Click on your repositories. Now over here you can see what are the repositories uh, associated with the username. And you can see there are three repositories. One is git project, test and AI. Let me go ahead and uh, let me click on git project. Now if you see over here, we are having code issues, pull request actions and all these things what we have seen in the previous session. And then in the particular repository that we have only one file that is test.txt. Now I will show you one more thing. If you see over here, a create new file. If you want to add any new file, you can go ahead and you can create a new file over here. Also, if you want to upload the files, you can upload the files. Now I will show you how to create a new file over here. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to give one more file as data. I'm just giving data and then I'm going to click on it. And you can see over here, I'm going to edit the file name. I'm just giving this is test file. I'm just giving the details over here. And then you can see, and I'm going to commit the file. So I'm saying as data file. And then I'm going to, you know, committing directly to the branch without, uh, you know, I'm not going to create a new branch directly by clicking on the commit new file, I'm going to committing it. So now if you see, I'm having data file as well as the test.txt file. So if you are already having a file in your local, then how you are going to upload the file. So over here you can see upload files, click on upload files. And then here you can see drag files here to add them to a repository or choose your files. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to choose a file. So let me go to the documents. Let me click on HR. So I'm having employee details as a file. Let me click on that. So over here you can see uploading one file that is employee details.xls file. I will say employee details. Okay. And then I'm directly committing directly into the master branch. Now, if you see, we are having data file, employee details file, and text files. These are all in the particular Git project repository. Now, to clone that, as you know, the main point in this session is we have to clone it, correct? Now, if you see over here, clone or download. So to 
you have open in GitHub or you can go ahead and you can download the file. But I don't want to use this kind of things. I don't want to use GitHub directly. Now what I have to do, I have to use Git bash to clone these things. Okay, how can we go ahead and do that? Let me switch to my desktop. Right now we are in the Git demo folder, right? So last time I have shown you how to, you know, change the path, right? Now I don't want to, so I will use the shortcut over here. If you see over here, when I right click it, and then I'm going to use Git bash here, so that what will happen is directly, you know, change the path over here. You can see over here, documents git demo, right now in the current directory document slash git demo. Let me expand this. What is the command to clone this? You will see git clone https colon github.com slash username slash repo git. Where we can get this? You can see over here the same, whatever the repository you have to clone it. You can go ahead and you can copy this by clicking on, uh, you know, this icon. Let me click on that. Now the path has been copied over here. Now let me go back to my desktop. Now what I'm going to give the command is git clone and then I'm going to paste the path which I have got it from the GitHub. And then let me go ahead, let me click on that. Let me click enter. You can see cloning into git project. You can see over here git hyphen project which is the repository name has been created over here. And then you can see remote emulating nine objects and you can see unpacking objects 100% and then you can see what are the files that you are having in the git project. You can see the git, it has been automatically whenever in the previous session that we have seen while we are initializing git in it, the folder has been created and you can see what are the files have been there in the particular project. All the files have been cloned over here. I hope you understand how to clone a repository by using git bash and also we can do very easily how to clone from the you know directly from github also and also we have seen how to create and how to upload files by using github thank you for watching github tutorials if you have any queries related to this concept please post them in the comment section stay tuned with us i will see you in the next session till then bye bye have a nice day